Alrighty guys, so for today's look, we are doing a summer inspired look. As you can see, it has all these different colors. And these colors remind me of home because all I think about is the sunset and like the beach and stuff. So we're going to be doing that today. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you guys are interested in this video, please keep watching and let's get right in. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is the Naked Basics palette in the color WOS. So the colors can be more vibrant and more visible because my eyes are slightly darker due to sleep deprivation because of my child. Going in with my NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette, that's a rainbow basically, gonna start off with that purple shade. I don't know what it's called, but you saw what I pointed to and we're gonna use that on the crease. going in with the darker well darkest purple I always say darker darkest purple in the palette and we're gonna use that in the crease again or the outer corner you can say and we're just gonna try to darken that up a little bit and then we will go on to the next color Next I'm going in with this dark orange color and I'm going to use that on the inner crease. You'll see right here what I'm doing. Now y'all might have noticed that I didn't start off with my foundation or concealer or anything on my face because I knew this was going to be a crazy look or like very like pigmented colors. So I didn't want to risk having to like mess up my face if I do make any mistakes. Going in now with the brightest yellow because there's only two and my favorite part we're going to do the little sun in the center of the eyelid. I forgot to mention that I was being super lazy in this eye and I wanted to um, do it just on top of the eyeshadow but as you can see right here, I'm putting concealer on because I did that on my other eye and I noticed that it was actually, you know, sticking on. Not that the color by itself wouldn't, but the concealer helped it be more vibrant and that's why I decided to just end up putting it on. So, and then here I'm just um, blending in the purples before I add the yellow and then now you can see it's even more you know brighter than it was without the concealer so that's a little hack as well okay now I'm gonna go with the darkest red in the palette and we're gonna add that on top of the um, orange that I put on previously and just blend that in with the purples and the yellow going in with the second yellow or mustard yellow and we're gonna put that in the inner crease or the inner eyelid and blend that in with the red and the bright yellow and with this type of look blending is key guys you have to blend 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 and blend even more because like with so many colors like this there's no way that you cannot blend it's gonna look hideous you know so yeah I didn't really show the color here because I already used it, but on top of the mustard yellow, I used um, the red, the dark red, to make it into like an orangey, like a bright orangey color. So that's what I went ahead and did, and that's what gave it that effect. Now in the Revolution palette, I used that shimmery white, and we're going to go ahead and put that in the inner corner of the eyelid. Next I'm going with my Essence 
this uh, eyeliner and we're gonna be doing our eyeliner and I decided not to use falsies today I just used regular mascara this video um let me know down below how i did and what other looks i should do if you guys aren't following me on social media go ahead and check that out on facebook and instagram it'll be linked down below um life is andrea and please give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you on my next video bye